Diabetes mellitus is a metabolic disorder caused by the inability of the pancreas to produce enough insulin for the body or when the body fails to use insulin properly. Insulin is the hormone responsible for regulating the body's blood sugar level. If insulin is insufficient or is not used effectively, blood sugar increases. This condition is called hyperglycemia. Hyperglycemia commonly occurs with uncontrolled diabetes and can lead to damage to the eyes, kidneys, nerves and blood vessels. An acute severe disruption of the blood sugar level can be fatal. The types of diabetes are type 1 diabetes, type 2 diabetes and gestational diabetes. Type 1 diabetes is also known as insulin-dependent or childhood-onset diabetes. It is a condition wherein there is inadequate insulin produced in the body. Type 2 diabetes, on the other hand, is also called non-insulin-dependent or adult-onset diabetes. This type of diabetes is brought by the body's failure to use insulin effectively. Gestational diabetes is characterized by hyperglycemia that occurred initially during pregnancy. The cause of type 1 diabetes can be abnormal genes in the body and there is no available information about prevention. Type 2 diabetes, on the other hand, is the product of an unhealthy lifestyle and is related to excessive body weight, unhealthy food selection and prolonged inactivity. The cause of gestational diabetes is linked to the effect of fluctuating hormones of pregnancy on the body. Symptoms of diabetes can be frequent and excessive urination, extreme feeling of thirst, weight loss, vision changes, itching and fatigue. Treatment of type 1 diabetes requires administration of insulin on a daily basis. Type 2 diabetes and gestational diabetes treatment involves proper diet, exercise, oral medication and insulin in some cases. In both types of diabetes, non-smoking is essential to prevent damage due to diabetes. Type 2 diabetes can be prevented through living a healthy lifestyle that includes attaining and sustaining a healthy body weight, being physically fit and active, and eating a well-balanced and healthy meal. Your general practitioner can give you more information about the disorder and its possible treatments.